today. He's still at the house on the couch. My bad, y'all. My bad. And it was raining outside anyway, and he need new he need new stuffing. You know what I mean? Like he limp and stuff. He can't sit up by himself. You know, he gotta have some extra support. You know how you have a newborn baby, you gotta put pillars all around him. You know what I'm saying? Hey y'all! Happy Emory Friday! Y'all know I can't curse. It's too early. Oh my gosh, I see y'all heavy with the wine glasses, knives and forks. That's right, everything's allegedly, even my name's allegedly, okay? Y'all, I'm stressed out. While we waiting on y'all to come in here, I have had the heck of a day. I came in like this today. Like, this is how I came in with my purse under my arms. Like, Jasmine, is the show ready? <laughs> Look like I just left the wine bar. Drinking Sauvignon Blanc all day. Hell, I'm mad to the side because I've been sleeping on one side. Let me tell y'all what happened today, y'all. They almost recalled my car. And I almost let them. When they told me what the balance hole was, I was, I was, I was, I was this close. They was like, if you don't bring it current. We're going to come get it, and something told me. Oh, I should have let him come. I should have let him take it. <laughs> I said, oh, my God. So let me tell y'all what happened. This is what happened. So when I filed bankruptcy, I was still paying my bills, right? And then, you know, I'm paying the bills. I'm paying my tax. I'm paying everything because I'm like, okay, I still got to pay this until... You know, we we work everything out because this is a different type of bankruptcy. I did Chapter 7, you know, in the past, back in 2011, but this is a whole new bankruptcy. I kept paying my bills, so then I went in to see the paralegal, and she was like, why are you still paying the bills? You can't, you're not supposed to pay the bills. And so I was like, okay, you ain't got to tell me but one time. I didn't ask no follow-up questions or nothing. I just stopped paying my bills. Oh. <laughs> You know how they tell you don't owe you? You just be like, oh, okay. Don't even worry about it. It's just like you in the store. You win money. You ain't finna. Hey, these my numbers. I don't want to hear nothing about it. Nothing about it, okay? So, the same paralegal called me today. She was like, uh, Tasha, why haven't you been paying your car note? I said, because you told me. Don't pay it. You said, and I quoted her, and I had the email to back it up. Stop paying my debts. Y'all going to work it out in over the five years in the bankruptcy plan. So I wasn't going to ask no follow-up questions because y'all on the clock. Anytime I ask a question, they billing me and added that into the bankruptcy plan, right? So I left out the office like this. <laughs> All I know <laughs> is them people that own the truck, shout out to Ally Bank. <laughs> they were the only bank that would approve me because I got a free re a few repossessions on my on my, on my uh, volunteer repos and stuff. If a car break down and I still got a payment on it and they ain't got no warranty, they don't want to fix it, I tell them to come get it. And if you can get a car anywhere. <laughs> I don't even be worried about it like that at all. <laughs> so now, Somebody said, you got, I know they got to reaffirm the card debt. They told me today. So, yeah, I had to go on my bank account and get them $9,000 for nine months. I was hot. So, yeah, I came in here a little lit, took a little nap here, matted on the side. I'm tired, y'all. They done got me for 9K today. 9K. I almost told them, they was like, if you don't give us this money, you got 14 days, we're going to come get it. I almost said. But then I thought, I said, I'm going to have to put that money down on a new one. Y'all going to see me in a cash Nissan Sentra. No joke. Full show for y'all. Oh, I'm mad, y'all. <laughs> I was not planning on spending that money. <laughs> Half the money I made in Atlanta. <laughs> Anyway, 
don't forget to get y'all tickets, okay? <laughs> we are officially on tour, all right? Baltimore stand up. Y'all are up next. I was going to shout out the DMV, but since y'all say y'all ain't a part of the DMV, okay. Baltimore it is, okay? Stand up. Get your tickets. TashaKonStage.com. We're also going to Pleasanton, California, so Oakland, San Francisco. Who else is close to Pleasanton? I forgot. Y'all make sure y'all in Pleasanton, Virginia Beach. I'm being honest, y'all. I'm not kidding y'all. These tickets are almost sold out. I prom I'm not even lying to you, okay? I got people emailing me talking about, I got to wait till I get paid. They ain't but $20. Come on now. Come on. Now, I know I ain't got $20 right now because I just dumped out my bank account. I, I ain't got it. I get it. So I got a borrow from Jasmine out of the check I just gave her. But I will make it happen if I mess with you, okay? Tasha K on stage.com. Now, full show for y'all today, all right? We got a Jessica Dime inter interview for those of y'all that are not on TashaKLive.com. I promised her that I would put it out on YouTube, okay? There was some discrepancies. She wanted the audience to know what was going on with her show, the Mint, and things like that. And we got a little extra stuff in there that you guys are going to enjoy. So if you're on TashaKLive.com, don't worry about it. We got another interview for y'all. Remember that little girl? They called her a man on Cassent's show, all right? And they had surprise Drew, Drewski on a blind date. We got her here, okay? And so she going to be on TashaKLive.com after this show along with some topics, okay? So we got Larry Reed's boyfriend, other boyfriend. Remember, Pastor, come in my mouth only if you 17 or below Reed? Uh, he was on a live with another pastor, and that pastor exposed Larry Reed's boyfriend by the name of Conscious TV of having that package. We got some things we have to discuss tonight. Church is officially not church, is officially in session, okay? And the way my nerves is bad, y'all know I'm likely to not give 10 fuck. Okay, we got Candace Dillard over here. Candace over on TashaKLive.com. They not firing me with her. We're going to TashaKLive.com to talk about her. I'm also going to be talking about Drake, Jaheem, Floyd Mayweather. Why did I add Floyd Mayweather again? He did get sued this time. Take that out. I got to get the lawsuit on that. I know I put it in that tissue, but I ain't had time to read the lawsuit. I'm going to get it. Okay, I'm going to get it. Don't worry about it. You know what? You Put it back in. I give them the, the, the breakdown of it, okay? The, I, the, what do you call it? The synopsis? The synopsis, okay? And much, much more, okay? But before we get started, of course, we got to let you know what's coming up on TashaKLive.com next week. So you make sure, okay, you have your little subscriptions ready. We got a sponsor we got to brag about, which means Bully Raise a Glass too. Let's go. Risa Tisa unveiled a load of videos. Who the fuck did I marry? 400 million views talking about y'all ex-husband. Risa Tisa, ex-wife, who straight line to y'all. It's completely false. Now, Latoya, a lot of people have been reaching out and mm -hmm. they've been wanting to hear your side. When you're dealing with this sort of trickery, and that's what I call it. It's like you being bamboozled, right? When a person comes into your life and they're constantly bamboozling you, especially like when you've been through trauma and things of that nature, you want to believe so badly that this is the truth. Legion really led y'all down a rabbit hole. He used to talk to this dude on the phone like every day. And his name was Miguel, right? Two gentlemen that looked out for me, my mom and dad passed away, they became brothers to me, which is Elgin and Miguel. These are the guys that I would talk to in the morning time. Miguel doesn't even exist. Uh oh no. Miguel's not even a real person. Oh no. He was wearing a fucking bulletproof vest, walking around the neighborhood as security of the apartment complex. Legion. This is in Ennett and Jonesboro, Georgia. Your it's mom funny. talked about him walking around the neighborhood at night. He was using his dad's badge, acting like the police. He's stopping the gang beggars and he is patting them all the way down. He was only doing it just to fill just on to them. Just to fill on them, because he didn't work for these people. He had a whole different job. <laughs> Legion. All the cars that he promised me, they're actually on Facebook with my name on them, right? That he never bought. It's just said that she had, right, he, she but, was promised cars as well too. But he literally has, I have screenshots. 
right? Of the actual post that this lunatic actually put my name in it, tagged me, said, come outside. I have your, I have your anniversary present. So where's the car? It never got bought. I was at the station and he acted like he got the a Christian phone call. The Christian radio station. Yes. Okay. And he was on the phone like, hey bro, what's up? And then the phone rang and it was my mama. She just really just kind of opened the door to something that I wasn't even prepared for. Here I am thinking that we're just dealing with a pathological liar, an alleged and I, child like, molester. She, like she said, I don't want to start crying because I don't want my makeup to trip, but every fiber in my being, I'm not a violent person, but don't touch my kids. Poor of a person. That's the lot of my childhood gone. You know? Did it cause problems between you and your mom? If you enjoy shows like this and would like to see more with me on stage in your city, well, I'm coming. Tickets on sale right now. Link in the description box as well as the bio. Hurry up now while tickets last, okay? <laughs> That's right, Baltimore, stand up. All right, we on the way. What is it, April 14th, April 7th? Which one is it, Jasmine? 14th, April 14th, we'll be in Baltimore, okay? Anybody got a problem with it? See me at the Baltimore Comedy Factory, all right? Now, um, I'm going to sit down because Jasmine forgot to tell me that I was supposed to go pee, and so I don't want to be running around here, you know what I'm saying, like this the entire time, so I'm going to get through to the next break, but I know how to hold some pee. I really do. I shouldn't be doing it at this age. Do you know what they say? Your bladder stop working around 50. <laughs> All right, so uh, Outback issued a statement today said that um, they apologized for a 12-year-old Michigan boy uh, who was mistakenly given an alcoholic drink at their restaurant. Now, apparently, the boy at, uh, ordered a virgin strawberry daiquiri, okay? He was given a regular strawberry daiquiri. Now, I know how they make the strawberry daiquiris unless you uh, request, okay, a uh, upcharge, uh, like a premium liquor, they finna give you that steel vodka. That's still rum, okay? So this very, very basic 8% alcohol, not much. And I'm trying to figure out why this 12-year-old boy needed to be rushed to the hospital, okay? Now, according to reports, all right, People Magazine to be, uh, to be exact, okay? They said there was no, he did not uh, suffer any serious harm. However, his heart started beating fast. Now, I know that feeling because when I hit some real, real good herb, okay? <laughs> and I'm not ready for it. I be sitting there like, <sighs> while my heart beat fast and I start, <laughs> take me to the hospital. <laughs> and my friends be like, you ain't going nowhere now, y'all done gave me some bash. Y'all done really gave me some bash. Take me to the hospital now. And then five minutes later, I'm laughing. So yeah, it was his first hit. Ain't nothing happened to the little boy, but um, you know, Outback said they tried to rectify the situation. Uh, you know, they they tried to tell the family he didn't need any, um, I guess medical assistance. In return for the inconvenience, they did offer them one free meal for the little boy. <laughs> I said, now you know Outback, the fact that y'all even offered and said sorry, and they rushed that little boy to the hospital. I said, boy, he couldn't have came up in my house with Lynette. We stayed drunk on wine coolers at nine. Boone's Farm. <laughs> Still reserved. Now, that stuff cut. <laughs> it, was, it gave me a razor headache. My mom was like, why you got migraines all the time? And I wanted to tell her that bullshit y'all drinking. <laughs> I was 10. <laughs> y'all need some better beer in there. <laughs> like, why my baby sleep? For real. So yeah, they finna come for that chick, okay? And I would too. Let me mess up and get my, and make sure they get my child something so I can get me a little check. I wonder how much they gonna get. Jasmine, how much you think they gonna get? They gave a free. Now I'm talking about because they finna sue. You know what I'm saying? You know you can get a lot. You can get a lot of trouble for that. I don't lost a couple jobs serving people with our card and stuff like that. Or they don't play them laws. So I wanna know. I'm gonna follow this case because if that little boy gets some money. Put into a trust and he ain't got to work no more. Man, I'm gonna have to stage a setup. I'm gonna have to go get a job at a bar, okay? And I'm gonna send my friend child in there to sit down. And I'm gonna accidentally serve him something and we're gonna take the company together. 
Why knows how much y'all think he finna get? I don't know if it was me, I'd be petty too. I swear to God. Just like when they be suing McDonald's for hot coffee and stuff, like the coffee's supposed to be, some fell on your arm, burnt you, it's hot coffee. What do you expect? They take their ass right down there to file an insurance claim. Yes, they do. Moving on. What did they say? 10,000. That's it? For a drink? And it was his first time? Underage? Dang. <coughs> now, I want to talk to y'all about something for real. Okay, this hit home for me. So, Giselle did a little story. I believe it was with the Daily Mail, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know who she did this story with, but she, I, you know, I, I feel like a lot of times we, as the older we get, we need to start keeping it real like this. And she said when she was younger, her diet was so bad that she used to have panic attacks because she wasn't going to sleep. She was traveling all the time. And you know she Tom Brady wife. She's always lived a privileged life. But even though she was privileged, she was still going through a lot of the same things we go through. But she was rich with rich people problems. So she would, you know, be on coffee all day, hardly no sleep, high sugar diets, high carbohydrate diets. Sometimes she wouldn't eat it. She had a show because she had to make a modeling session and everything. And she said that she would stop, okay? Because a lot of y'all watch my show. And a lot of people are like, why do I have panic attacks all the time? It's not always the bad weed. Sometimes it's got a lot, most of the time it's got a lot to do with our diets. And I like that she ended up opening it up like that. Now, now, you know what I'm saying, as an adult, you know what I'm saying, I know I was laughing at her because her diet is a little strict. She eats the same thing three times a day. She eats uh, uh, tilapia, fish, some broccoli, and uh, brown rice, okay? So she has that meal three times a day, every day um, to maintain her weight and her peace of mind. But what I love about what she shared was is that that used to happen to me. I used to have panic attacks all the time. I started in high school and I was working a full-time job while going barely to high school. You know what I'm saying? I had real world problems and they used to have to wheel me out on a damn stretcher sometimes because I would have all these pins and needles come through my body and my heart was beating fast and I wasn't smoking at the time. You understand what I'm saying? Like it, it, that, that wasn't the time. But I know that feeling. It's the same type of feeling. You really think that you're having a heart attack. You can't breathe and stuff. And then, you know, it's accompanied with depression and all types of shit. And so I didn't realize that it was directly linked to my sugar addiction. Okay? I had a bad sugar addiction. It was bad, okay? I used to, especially around my little cycle time, boy, I would hit them little, you know, them junior stalls, and then I would get the 25 cent sodas with the 25 cent Debbie cakes and stuff, Star Crunch, you know, the little strawberry swirl cake and all that stuff, and then I would get M&Ms, I would get Almond Joys, all that stuff, and I would eat all that shit. My parents, they didn't monitor what the hell we ate, okay? They didn't care. They thought it was healthy, too. My mama was going through the same thing every time. She stopped smoking and shit. She was eating sugar. So it was kind of like she traded one addiction for another. But we didn't know it was an addiction at the time, okay? But then reports started to come out that sugar was just as strong as crack. And when you didn't get it, you had a panic attack. So my heart and body, I remember one day I had got some high sugar. I had baked some cookies in my house, right? I ate like five of the cookies straight off of the pan, didn't even let them cool off. They were so soft, I was like, oh. <laughs> So I said, forget this. I threw the cookies in the trash, and then I almost went in the trash, real sore, to get the cookies. I didn't know I had a problem. That's when I knew that I had a problem. I had to pour bleach on the cookies, not to get the damn cookies. And then I had a therapy session at the time, because, you know, I've been in therapy a lot of years. I say I stopped. I've been out of therapy about seven, eight years now. However... So I had to go to therapy. I forgot I was so high off the cookies, I didn't know where I was, and I was literally at the stoplight outside of my house. Dementia. <laughs> it's funny, but it's not funny. So if you for some reason got anxiety, depression, memory loss and shit like that, you may need to check your sugar and your carbohydrate intake, okay? No joke. Shout out to Giselle. I love her for that. You know what I'm saying? She did not have to share that, but that shit hit home for me, and I know a lot of people going through that shit too, okay? So, moving on. All right. Fan duel. So, this brother had the audacity. We should have put him with Marlon Wayans. Marlon Wayans ain't on this, or he on the app? Man, put him over here. We bring him all the way over here. Mm -hmm. mm. So, FanDuel got called out on Twitter for deducting <laughs> their clients' money, their winnings, because this is a gambling site, right? And so, <laughs> sports betting. So, apparently, a father that was in a child support rears 
the child support agency found out where he gambled at. I think it was a baby mama. No joke, because how would they know he was gambling? She went down there and told the folks, and you know the child support office get paid too. They got to get their cut too. So when you don't pay them, they bonuses and stuff go down. You know what I'm saying? Child support is a big business, right? Now, so he goes to look at his account. They done detected his uh, uh, $1,500 out of his account. They said he was months behind. And I said, now, how much is he really paying? $200? You couldn't make that? But you could, you could bet on, on sports and win. So instead of him having a bank account that they can, you know, garnish, they went and found the gambling account. All right, Bruno Mars. Yes, sir. I said, listen, y'all better watch out. Let me tell you something about this cryptocurrency. They, they trying to regulate it for this reason here. Now, this is a part of the regulation. And you're trying to figure out, it's like, how are people making money, spending money with you, okay, making the money, and if you're not able to take the money, you allow other parties to come take the money? What type of deal do you have with the government as a gambling site to get in between father, baby mother, and child disputes? Now, listen, I, I'm not for deadbeat dads and all, but this is a bit of a stretch here. That means ain't none of our money safe at all. Y'all, listen, when you win, you need to pull it out. Okay? If the laundry mat give you too many quarters, I take it. Do not take it to the Asian lady up front. Keep it. Speaking of child support, Marlon Wayans, the good guy, he don't never have no controversy. This is crazy. Well, Cat, Cat Williams did get it on his ass when he wore that dress. Cat Williams said he could smell his ass from under the dress when he played that white chick and stuff. But he always played a lot of, you know, feminine roles and stuff like that. And I guess that's why I never really thought Marlon Wears was all that attractive. But lately, I was like, all right, Marlon, you can, uh, you looking kind of, I wish Jasmine would have used a better picture. But, you know, she don't fuck with men like that. But um, what'd you say? <laughs> Jasmine, I'm like, I get in the group chat. Listen, speaking of group chat, who's in the group chat on Instagram, we got a private group chat that y'all have to join. It's got about 5,000 members in it, and I give y'all personal updates, voice notes, and all that stuff. Y'all better get involved in the group chat on Instagram. You can click it and join, and you can get blocked too. So don't play with me. Now, Marlon Wayans is being resued by his secret baby mama. Now, I always thought he was in a relationship like a long-term relationship with one of them childhood actresses I used to follow, too. What's her name? It, Jasmine, you know her name? Hold on for a second. Let me Google it real quick. I know they're going to tell me in the chat. Pull up the chat because they're going to they gonna get it before I get it. Marlon Wayans, long-term girlfriend. I thought it was his wife, to be honest with you. Hold on. Marlon Wayans, long-term. What's her name, y'all? What's her name? Hold on. Long-term girlfriend. She's one of them childhood actors. Matter of fact, he went live with her last year. And they were still in a relationship. Hold on. Angelica's, no, no. I don't think it's Angelica Zachary now. Is it? The one with the big forehead. That's Angelica Zachary. Oh, okay. All right, cool. What'd you say? You said Marlon, the Xena Warrior said Marlon has never claimed any woman. I don't think Hollywood would allow him too at the time when he was under them contracts and then he started claiming women when them contracts are ended and things like that, okay? But Angelica, the one with the big forehead, what Essence Atkins, she real pretty, don't get me wrong, but she, you know, she represented the Elise Mills and stuff, the, the forehead community in the Black Channels, you know what I'm saying? She had that, that forehead on lock, forehead game on lock, which real cute, you know what I'm saying? Great actress, I wonder what happened to her. I wonder if she'll give me an interview now that I made light of her forehead. We'll see. Now, um, $18,000, $18,000 he's paying a woman for a secret child, okay? Now, everybody found out about the child when, I guess, the court docs appeared online. He's denying that he's kept the baby a secret. He says that he loves the child, but I don't think, you know what I'm saying, you could say with everything in you, Marlon, that you love a child and you ain't never announced the child, but you was paying for the baby. I think he was still pissed trying to process $18,000 a month in child support because he gave her 
the 1099 instead of the check he draws from the 1099. Have we not taught you anything? Now, I read, I read her list of bills, okay? So she said her bills are $21,000 a month. She's re-entering the workforce, so she needs another $2,000 added on to the $18,000 that she makes to pay for her rent, to pay for her car, to pay for child care, and, you know what I'm saying, while she goes to work. I said, well, when does he have the baby? <laughs> I think this, this was, uh, and she's trying to establish paternity as well, too, to say that it's his child, because I'm like, why are you paying that much in child support? You're a... Uh, an M-list celebrity, um, he's Z-list all the way, okay? He still do comedy shows and stuff like that. You're an M-list celebrity. You come from a very, very wealthy family. $18,000 a month, you couldn't have been claiming your baby and keeping your baby. Mm, you was out here on some Tristan Thompson shit. Yeah, that's what it sounds like, you know what I'm saying? But it's not a good look for a black man, especially a black man that's played in nothing but family movies and been a, a representation for black people to be a deadbeat father, okay? So he was making the payments, but he just wasn't making his way over there. Because had he would have been making his way over there, still dropping dick down, I don't think she would have asked for $18,000 a month. I would move in for $18,000. Judge, we are together. That I would be telling, Judge, we are together. She is lying. <laughs> she is lying. We was just together last night. Why does she need $18,000? Tyrese made, well, I, no, I, don't, I ain't finna measure, because this is legacy money. The Wayans are legacy people. They are our legacy black family. They are the real Kardashians. But 18 grand, but when I look at my list of bills and where I am as a 40-year-old woman, and she, I think she in her, uh, no, she in her 30s and she's a college student, like she's almost done with college. She's like 34 and she's almost done with college and stuff like that. So she's accustomed to a certain lifestyle because she's accustomed to dating men who give her that lifestyle. And if you think she's going to walk around here carrying your baby, you know what I'm saying, and taking care of your baby, and she had to prolong her college to give you a baby, I would ask for $18,000 too. I'm gonna be honest with you. Rent in LA to even have a decent place to lay up with him in to make it look like you got some money, but you need his, because that's exactly what she did, because she real pretty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that um, yeah, rent alone, ten thousand. So eighteen, that's that's about right. Especially if you was messing with her when she wasn't working and she was still in college. You gonna have to come up off that money now. He's trying to make her look bad. Tell me, what she need two thousand dollars a month for? Why she need an extra two thousand dollars a month? Cause you gave her eighteen, and if you making more money, she making more money. And this was a jump off allegedly. Mm -hmm. She told him she was on birth control, and we know that. You know, a lie. I'm gonna tell him I'm on birth control too. Yeah. Leave it in. Moving on. Viewer discretion is advised. Gumby. <laughs> Gumby. Y'all remember Gumby? <laughs> look at his head, too. Don't he? Drake look like Gumby. Can you see it? Put on the chat. Let me see what I'm talking about. Can you see it? Drake look like Gumby. Let's not play. Look, now you said in light skin and the justice system. What the hell? I want to apologize, Mr. Okay, okay. Now, listen. Gumby, uh, I guess, decided to show off to us, you know? Y'all remember the Gumby, the blue little? Every time I looked at Drake, I was like, he looked like a cartoon I used to watch, you know? So he looked just like him. Yeah, don't you? I know. Um... Viewer discretion is advised, okay? Because I don't know why he would up upload this video here. I guess maybe he was trying to turn us on, but uh, go ahead. <laughs> Gumpy. Play the end one more time, and when he take it off and squeeze it, I'm gonna tell you what it looked like. Go ahead. 
First of all, light skinned men, no, no, this is no shade to y'all, but you know, um, most of y'all probably gotta darken the room just to make us think that your your penis is is dark, you know, because it's pink, you know, and sometimes I you know, I know it's a lot of light skinned men out here to say, uh uh, my that's the darkest spot on me, Pierre. No, it's it's pink. We've seen enough um advertised. On the internet, okay? We know what it looks like. But that, to me, gave me um, spaghetti noodle water. It looked like he was draining noodles out of the spaghetti. You know how the water foggy, and the noodles got kind of this off smell. It don't smell good till you put the sauce on it. Or even hot dog water when you finish boiling the hot dogs. I just, I'm, Drake. And if you sweat like that, Furthermore, I don't want you on top of me. No, sir. Nobody. That is that is a hell of a detox. What is coming out of your skin? What are you putting in it? So what happens when you sleep with a lot of women like that, okay? They come with a lot of unknown juices and things, and things is getting mixed up and creating its own type of uh, water and smell and stuff like that. I, I just don't want it. That, that just... That just turned me all the way up. And I'm sorry if most of y'all was eating spaghetti or boiling hot dogs right now, but that's what it gave. <laughs> all right, Jaheem. Now, listen, I have been wondering where Jaheem has been. For real. I mean, I saw a couple of videos of him on social media. I think, one, he was homeless at one point. I was like, pray for him. You know what I'm saying? But then, he, you know, he been out here back on stage and stuff and doing fan meet and greets. And, you know, when I saw this video here, again, video discretion is advised. You know, I was a little confused at what the hell. What the? F pause, Jack. Pause that. Ja you can have anything but hair. Oh. <laughs> All of me but my nair. Nah, 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 nah. Do you see? I was like, no. I know damn well Jaheem ain't go to no meet and greet. Did he shave that or is it just falling out? There's no way you can't. J J now, Jaheem out here on his uh, his white man, he trying to say the top. Like y'all, I got to see these comments. I was, I, I have got. You've never heard of this por person, Gracie. Meet Jaheem, okay? <laughs> they say he need a frontal real bad. He do. Now this is what a lace front is from. Jasmine, go back <laughs> to the video again. And the woman that was in the video, she was actually feeling him. Look. The, I, and the way he talked, he's, you know, he's always give me, giving me, like, just by the way he moves his mouth and stuff, like he got dentures he's trying to keep in. Like, I said, Johnny, this is over. And so his tickets better be $15. They better be $15. That's it. It better be two for one on Groupon. Do not play with me, okay? I'm not paying. I came to see Jaheem. Put up before Jaheem. This is who I came to see. That. This. <laughs> so that means if I pay $60 to see this, or $50 to see this, then go back to the other one. I pay $25 for this one. <laughs> half off since half your hair is gone and half your age. We're not doing this, Jaheim. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You know what? I'm going to reach out to ISIS at Surgery 411 to see if she can get uh, Jaheim uh, a deal over in Turkey to go see the same doctor that Akon saw. He went and got him a permanent frontal installed. He was supposed to use the money on the on the solar uh, uh, city for the Africans, but instead he decided to go 
buy some hair with it. That, that's some real black woman shit right there, Akon. You was a black woman. <laughs> he said, forget that. <laughs> you know black women will get our hair done before we pay our bills. I've been getting my hair done for nine months and ain't made a car payment. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm going to get my hair done. The car going to have to wait. Jahi said the hair got to wait. Moving <laughs> 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 on. Let me see what y'all talking about in the comments. <laughs> and don't be laughing at me. I got on my bill pen outfit today. Okay? You know when the shirt tucked in the jeans, bitch, I'm coming in there. I'm coming to negotiate. Y'all not finna take my shit. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> oh, man, y'all better be hitting this like button. Are we streaming on Facebook? Shout out to Facebook, too. I'm sorry. I don't even acknowledge y'all over there. It's just like a couple y'all. But y'all be, be hitting on the reels, though. <laughs> all right, listen. After the break, all right, we got Monica and Ray J and Brandy, Candace Dillard and Jessica Dime, okay? We got to tell y'all what's coming up on TashaKLive.com. And remember, after we get to this Jessica Dime interview, we're going to head over to TashaKLive.com for an exclusive interview as well as some commentary over there. They said, Larry, come in my mouth. Only if you're under 17, read for about $100. Um, they done put out that his boyfriend got that package too. Everybody in the circle, apparently, okay? We'll be right back. <laughs> Risa Tisa unveiled a load of videos. Who the fuck did I marry? 400 million views talking about y'all ex-husband. Risa Tisa, ex-wife, who straight line to y'all, it's completely false. Now, Latoya, a lot of people have been reaching out and mm -hmm. they've been wanting to hear your side. When you're dealing with this sort of trickery, and that's what I call it, it's like you being bamboozled, right? When a person comes into your life and they're constantly bamboozling you, especially like when you've been through trauma and things of that nature, you want to believe so badly that this is the truth. Legion really led y'all down a rabbit hole. He used to talk to this dude on the phone like every day. And his name was Miguel, right? Two gentlemen that looked out for me, my mom and dad passed away and became brothers to me, which is Elgin and Miguel. These are the guys that I would talk to in the morning time. Miguel doesn't even exist. Uh, oh no. Miguel's not even a real person. Oh no. He was wearing a fucking bulletproof vest, walking around the neighborhood as security of the apartment complex. Legion. This is in Emmett and Jonesboro, Georgia. Your it's mom funny. talked about him walking around the neighborhood at night. He was using his dad's badge, acting like the police. He's stopping the gang beggars and he is patting them all the way down. He was only doing it just to fill just on to them. Just to fill on them, because he didn't work for these people. He had a whole different job. <laughs> Legion. All the cars that he promised me, they're actually on Facebook with my name on them, right? That he never bought. It's just said that she had, right, he, she but, was promised cars as well too. But he literally has, I have screenshots right, of the actual post that this lunatic actually put my name in it, tagged me, said, come outside, I have your I have your anniversary present. So okay. where's the car? It never got bought. I was at the station and he acted like he got the a The Christian phone call. radio station. Yes. Okay. And he was on the phone like, hey bro, what's up? And then the phone rang and it was my mama. She just really just kind of opened the door to something that I wasn't even prepared for. Here I am thinking that we're just dealing with a pathological liar, an alleged and I, child like, molester. When she, like she said, I don't want to start crying because I don't want my makeup to drip, but every fiber in my being, I'm not a violent person, but don't touch my kids. Horror of a person. That's a lot of my childhood gone, you know? Did it cause problems between you and your mom? If you enjoy shows like this and would like to see more with me on stage in your city, well, I'm coming. Tickets on sale right now. Link in the description box as well as the bio. Hurry up now while tickets last, okay? <laughs> All right, and we back. Baltimore stand up. I need them ticket emojis in the chat. Put the ticket emojis in the chat if you're going to be at L one of the shows on the tour for Tasha K on stage.com. We got a surprise city we adding, okay? We already announced it over on TashaKLive.com. I'll bring it to y'all when y'all ready because they get first dibs on the tickets and stuff like that. But don't worry, I'm going to give them to y'all. Okay, I'm going to give them to y'all. But put the ticket emoji in the chat if I'm going to see you in one of these cities. 
Baltimore is up next. Pleasanton, California. Tommy T's. Oakland, California. San Francisco. Stand up. Virginia Beach for Mother's Day. Y'all got me working and I got nine grand to make because I got to put that back. Whenever I deduct something, I got to put it back. Them people done took nine thousand dollars from me today, bro. Nine thousand. So they need their money. Now nah, I said my birthday just passed. Can we? Can I get an extension, please? Nah. Okay, so a little girl, well, this ain't no little girl, grown-ass woman, all right? I think her name is Jen. No, no, that's not her. Okay, so I guess she reposted somebody else's video. However, I thought this was real funny. Mm -hmm. To y'all parents out there that did this, yeah, this is for y'all here. Let's go. Black parents, please, please stop putting your bills in your kid's name. Mm. I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying to be able to talk. But y'all, when I tell y'all I just turned 28 two weeks ago, why am I still being punished for shit that happened before I was even an adult? It's crazy to me. Now, I know my mama probably gonna be mad I'm making this video, but it's like, if I still gotta deal with it, you gonna have to hear about it. This is, I'm, let, let me vent, let me cook. But it's like, y'all, my mama got my, put my name on her lease um, when I was in high school. Mind you, in high school, you are 18, so you are legally old enough to sign a lease. Y'all, she ended up getting evicted. And so, first of all, well, she got evicted after I moved out. I signed a lease when I was still living with her, obviously. But then when I moved out, she ended up getting evicted. Y'all, when I tell y'all this company, Gardner Properties in Michigan, yes, I'm calling y'all out. Because, it, like, I understand motherfuckers got to pay what they owe. But it's like, it's 10 years later. Why the fuck are y'all still bothering me when y'all garnish my wages, my Taco Bell check? Mind y'all, I'm 18, 19. It was Taco Bell. Got They do need their ass with for garnishing a Taco Bell check. You know how long it takes to get a decent Taco Bell check for two weeks? You can't miss no shifts and hope they busy and not slow when they cut you. Let's go. I think I was 19 when they started garnishing my wages. Y'all started garnishing my wages. Y'all took my state taxes multiple times. This is when I was in the workforce. And now, 10 years later, y'all still coming for me. And now y'all trying to come for my spouse. Like, what? If it was me that did this, I would understand. Because it's like, you you owe, you owe this. But this is something I did not do. I was a kid. When your parents tell you to, you know, sign this. You're like, like sign this so we can move. You, you're going to do it. It's your parent, right? But it's like, I'm still being punished for this shit 10 years fucking later. Then on top of that, I have never been able to get a light bill in my name because there was a light bill in my name before I was a fucking adult. Like, thank God for my fucking husband because what, like, what would I do? Like, bro, like this shit is so fucking frustrating, bro. And what's sad is I'm not the only one. I'm not the only black girl, especially black girls. I'm not the only black girl that has experienced this shit, bro. Like... Black boys too. Uh, Y'all not exempt. I just feel like it's most likely to happen to black girls. But bottom of the line, stop putting stuff in y'all kids' name. Because nine, nine times out of ten, if you mess your credit up, you're gonna mess theirs up too. And let cap. I too had light bills, <laughs> rent, car payments. In my name, when I was 11 years old, cable bills, everything. Now, is it right? It's not. But it's either that or you and your mammy going to be homeless, okay? Now, I don't know why she on the internet 10 years later or more, because she's 28 now. She said it happened when she was, what, 18, okay? Which means you had to give consent. You weren't really a child, right? Um... Yeah, I just, it's its its not adding up. And normally a, a, an eviction only lasts on your credit for like three years and you could have the credit bureau uh, remove that. Or baby girl, just file chapter seven. Chapter seven bankruptcy. One Taco Bell check will pay for that bankruptcy and eliminate all your debt. Even the debt that your mama calls. You can file back, your, back, your mama can file bankruptcy too. Or you can do what I did. I filed a police report on my mama. They told me if I wanted any power in Atlanta at Georgia Power in my name without a high deposit, I had to file a police report. So I did just that and went and rejected the police report, and they gave me lights with no deposit. 
That's all you got to do. Just have a police report. Just right there. They ain't going to press. They ain't going to do nothing. Yeah, they, they just want to see it. They want to see that it's not yours, and then they'll take it off. They won't go after you no more. They go after your mama, or you just file bankruptcy. But all this, that it didn't even take all that. Come on, girl. Everybody talking about that. It only happens to black girls. No, it happens to all kids. The more kids your mama got, the worse it is. Okay? Now, let me see what y'all talking about in the comments. <gasps> Lord Jesus. I did. Lynette, no. What do you mean the sound's off? Y'all didn't hear the video? Oh, okay. They talking about the sound is off. Yeah, chapter seven. That's all you got to do. I don't know why everybody's scared to file bankruptcy. Now, this is my second one. Hmm, everything good for me. I mean, except for that nine thousand dollars I had to come out with. Well, I could have let them take it and still wrapped it up in a bankruptcy. But I, I need a car. <laughs> <laughs> I need a car. All right, moving on. Floyd Mayweather, real quick, okay? So somebody sent me a lawsuit. I got to go through the details. But apparently uh, a few of his girls, uh, strippers at Girl Collection, are suing him for loss of wages, okay? Now, I wasn't going to pay attention to this because I was just like, well, how are y'all strippers and you suing him for loss of wages? I'm trying to figure that out. Like, you get your money from the Patreon. What does he have to do? with your money and so somebody put a little bird in my ear they said this was the beginning of the lawsuit okay they're going to be adding more allegations of harassment and all this stuff and i was just like no, no, hold up no. you worked in a club a strip club at that okay and so apparently there's more to come all right now um i told you i haven't gone through all the specifics of the lawsuit i did download it but i didn't get a chance to like read everything to see kind of what they're alleging. They have been trying to get a court date since I believe last year, if I'm not mistaken, but now I think, I think the judge is letting them move forward with it. So it's on the docket, it's ready to go. But here's my thing, I was like, the last person that filed a lawsuit against him, alleging anything, where's she at? Anybody seen her? Give me some flowers. I'll go take them to her. She wear Jay Z's ledger mistresses. Now you know this man got CTE. I don't even know why y'all playing with him like this. It's funny, but it's not funny. Just pick your battles. Okay? They said the judge was set to rule on the one that sued him, which was his baby mama. And right before he was a ruler, she was a drop of book. She dropped. She kimported her way on up out of here. I said, I did it. They know the same doctor. Same people. That's why I can't live in LA. Everybody, so one person got a key to all the houses in L.A. It's funny, but it's not funny. Girls better be careful. But I will bring you the specifics on the lawsuit, okay? Stay tuned for that. All right. Monica and Ray J. All right. Uh, so Monica and Ray J are uh, arguing, okay? And we're going to talk more about Ray J and this um, uh, staged divorce again on, you know what? Let's put it over here. Let's talk about that stage before. We'll, we'll bring him and Princess over here. Bring the video, okay? Now, I'm all for a good story, okay? Maybe a little bit of exaggeration sprinkled on it to make it funny and entertaining, but this is getting redundant at this point. Do you have a picture of him, uh, 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 Princess, in that video? Okay. And so um, they announced a divorce for the 1,067th time okay apparently princess is dating some ugly i don't know he looked like he don't had his face punched uh 10 or 15 times and you know this is that was the final product was her he must got some money his name is john bottega or something i don't know okay um a lot of people were like so of course i said so then when i see him on the breakfast club promoting the divorce okay and also he dropped a trailer do you have a jasmine about the Divorce. Princess and I, we about to have a final combo. What happened over there um, at Zeus? There's a lot of things that we need to get off our chest. Yeah. 
publicly. I think privately we straight. Publicly we need to like really figure this shit out. You want to have a conversation on your terms. They were not posting me. Let me house. talk. Cause I screenshot everything. Let me tell you like this. I slept with somebody. You gotta be one of the dumbest motherfuckers I ever met in my life. Because I think Princess could definitely contribute to this whole cheater thing. If I did cheat. I've kept this in my phone. What did you keep in your phone? It was like the first time he hugged me. I knew that we were gonna be together. Hello, I am Tina Christie, marriage counselor. I am here to speak with Princess Love, as well as Ray J. I'm going through a divorce and I'm legally separated, so it's a tough question to ask. I don't care about filing for divorce, but I'm not a weak bitch. We've seen this before. Didn't we watch this on Zeus? The same rollout? Now there's another network. He has one, tri Trionics or Tronics network. It's an app. And then Dosh Network is now hosting a duplicate conversation at the mercy of their marriage that they don't believe in and neither do we. So I just don't understand why they keep giving us Groundhog Day content. Who cares at this point? And he on the Breakfast Club talking about, I would rather be unhappy just to be around my kids. Selling it. Went to Angela Yee, selling the same thing. I asked him today, come on over here, sell me the same thing. Let's talk about it. Let's, let's talk about it. So what is, what is the actual problem here? Why do you go back? Why are y'all both producers at Zeus, at Dosh Network, at Trionics or whatever, you say, why are y'all executive producers on the same content just to launch your own network because you're mad that you gave Lemmy from Zeus your content instead of launching it on your own? That's what this is about. Him trying to recapitalize on things that he sold to other people right now. They ain't going nowhere. You seen her laid up in the bed. That's her man. And if she got another man, that's his man too. Because let's not Hey, put a few dicks on Ray J. His voice ain't never got deep because of it. Now, he decides to come for Monica when they asked him on the Breakfast Club. Who would open up if Monica and Brandy went on tour? Of course he's shady and says Monica. Monica comes back, says, keep my name out your mouth, little boy. I said, that's right, Monica. But I have ended the chat. See, had I would have clapped back, Monica, I would have said, and they would ask, well, who's going to open up out of Brandy and Monica, which are absolutely amazing artists in their own way. They have worked together. Their careers are equal. If anybody is going to open up on a Brandy, and Monica Tour, the only person to do it is Ray J. He got one wish and one song. That's it. It would have shut everything down. No more conversations in it. Brandy's little brother, the one that never made it musically, is supposed to open up for his big sister, the one he's lived in the shadow of his entire life. So much so, he can't sell his sister no more for ratings, so he got to sell his wife. Uh, he don't like women anyway. I said what I said. Moving on. Be sure to have your behinds over there on TashaKLive.com, okay? If you seen the Jessica Dime interview, head on over to TashaKLive.com right away. All right, now, all righty, Candace Dillard. Now, I know this story came out. Well, it didn't really come out. Somebody clipped, you know, the neighborhood talk, shout out to Kyle. He clipped it and put it out. And I, I'm surprised I didn't catch it earlier. But thank God Kyle is there. That's what his team is for, to catch things we don't always hear. I was a little shocked. At hearing, it, it seems like all the women named Candace, Candace Owens, Candace Dillard, they love white men. They love to indulge in white culture. They like to do white things. They like to get access to white credit cards and white credit limits, white neighborhoods, you know, white restaurants, you know. 
where you don't need a reservation. They just know who you are. But when it comes to the things that black people really got to go through, they don't want none of that. And so for her to sit up and say this as a public figure about her future children that ain't even here yet, it's, this is why TV, go ahead. Bro, bro. I'm like, your wife is, oh my God, no. But that wasn't like a thing. He was just. Listen closely. And I'm like, your wife is. Oh my God, no. But that wasn't like a thing. He was just, that was just his thought. Yeah. And we moved past it. But right. like, no, I, I, one thing I will say, I do have a fear of having light skin. Ooh. <laughs> I want my kids to be brown. Yeah. But they're probably not going to be brown. Yeah. And I'm like, becoming okay you with might have a demo. I will be very happy. Mm. I will, I, it, but I, I want my kids to be brown. Mm -hmm. But if they're not, it's fine. So you put on a public platform that will be pulled up one day because you and your husband are intentionals, okay? That you don't want mixed race children. If I was mixed race kids, I would be dragging her right now. Does she, y'all had to go through having to pick a side your whole life? And God didn't give you that option to pick a side, so you have to pretend. But she knowingly picked hot dog water to marry? Really? It's pink like hot dog. That's why. It's pink like a hot dog. It look like hot dog. What do you call it, right? Hot dog. Got that from the Benny Show. Hot dog. Yeah. <sighs> Dressed him up. He got on a Howard. The bay shirt, zaddy beard, got him a little tan to make him look a little dark, and now she don't want the offspring that comes with the man. Now he hit back and was like, she knows that she's going to have to have some church. I think Candace probably is, get, you know, exercising some of their privileges. I wouldn't be surprised if she probably tried to divorce him in a couple years from now and then go have her some babies with somebody so black all you see is his teeth. And you can't, the dick's so dark, you can't even see where his nuts start and it's thick in. That, now, that's a lot of dick. That's a lot of dick. Okay? I didn't even know it was that long. But she meant what she said. She really did. She really did. I'm telling you, I, I knew a girl. Yeah, she would sit up and say, I only, had, I only had kids with a white man because I didn't want my kids to be black. But you're black. Now, but I'm the colorist, though. I'm the colorist. Because had he would have said he didn't want no dark children, oh, my God. Y'all would have, ooh, ooh, Lord, help him. Lord, help Candace. Candace, girl, you straddling the fence. They're going to fire you like they fired Candace Owens today. You have to pick a side. You cannot be praising them one day. And then you're going to come diss them the next. And then you've already dissed your own people, so we don't want you. And then now you done diss them, they don't want you. So now you are truly living like a biracial because nobody accepts you at all. Keep playing, Candace. She had on the braids when she said that. And she was talking to a white cabbage patch dog. I don't know why that girl didn't just be honest, because she got a whole show talking about don't call me white girl. Maybe that's why she felt comfortable to say it. She make sure she wore her braids. You know what I'm saying? Make her feel black. Bye, Candace. All right, now listen. TashaKLive.com exclusive. Jessica Dime wanted to exclusively let all of her fans know what has been going on over at Now That's TV, what happened to her show, The Mint. Um, and what's to come of that show. Now, we did put a few promo clips out on social media and things like that. We did tell her that, you know, we would put her side of the story out. Um, I, um, I asked her to come do this interview because she had did a very uh, ballistic interview with a baby 
all in the video cussing and everything like that. I was like, this is not how you're going to solve this. And so she was gracious enough to fly down, you know what I'm saying, and, and tell us what was going on between her and Now That's TV, okay? And so um, without further ado, I give y'all Jessica Dime, and we are now going to head over, for those of y'all that have seen this interview, um, we're going to head over to TashaKLive.com for the second part of the show, okay? It gets dangerous over there. Don't forget, guys, we're going on tour right now. We are officially on tour. Tasha K on stage.com. Baltimore is our next city. Make sure you get them tickets before they sell out. Tickets starting at $20. Then we're going to be in Pleasanton, California, Virginia Beach, and then we got a whole lot more other cities, okay? So I'm only focusing on the next three. So make sure you get your tickets. If you have tips on your favorite celebrities, please feel free, okay, to... Uh, uh, Please hit me in the DM at Unwind with Tasha K. I'm so dead. I got to pee and everything. You know how you got to pee and you get dizzy and shit? You be like, shit, I got to hurry up and go pee before my ass fall out. Listen, so don't forget to email me, Unwind with Tasha K at gmail.com. I love you guys so much. I'm going to go use the bathroom. I'm going to go ahead and play this interview. And then for the rest of y'all that are already on TashaKLive.com, come on over. We're going to head over there for the second part of the show. Now I got to go because we're going to end this after this interview, okay? It's about 40 minutes. Bye. Okay, we got Jessica Dime back in the wine cellar for the second time, okay? This one's actually going to go on YouTube because you guys have shit to get off your chest. I do. All right. Do. Now, the other day, you uploaded a very, like, it was funny to me. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I'm with all the shits. You know me. You I'm know. Gonna, I, I, was, I, I was your little <laughs> sister then, wasn't it? <laughs> But I just saw the comments. It was like, take the live down, the baby. And I'm like, man, y'all cuss around y'all kids. Stop, stop acting too goody goody. Stop. <laughs> okay, stop that. You know, most of y'all selling pussy around your kids. Right, right, right in front of right them. Right in front of them. So, but, no. But I want my kids to know, like, don't let nobody do you any kind of way. Stand up for yourself. Even yeah. though I might have, I might not have done it in the most classiest way. Yeah. It was, it was my heart is what I felt at the time. It's yeah. just like I couldn't, and my kids ain't going nowhere. So they gonna either they gonna be there sometimes when yeah. when they see me struggling for mm -hmm. what I'm fighting for for them. You mm -hmm. know, I'm leaving this stuff to my kids. Like it's like you taking stuff from my kids, my family, mm -hmm. when you do stuff to me, and it just kind of trickled over, and it, and, it, and emotions ran. They ran high for me that day. I was fed up. I th we've talked. Me and you talked before I even yeah, went Yeah, we have. We just have. being honest. I know. So I've held it in for a long time, and I just feel played with it. And, I, and my apologies, because I probably shouldn't have had my kid in there, but it is what it well, is. Well, who are you apologizing to? That's your baby. Right. That's, so, that's your damn child. I wish somebody would tell me. You feed this fucking child? Nah, right then. Not so listen, you're here, um, you know, me and you have been, like you said, been in talks for, you know, mm -hmm. quite some time about what's been going on. You had a, a pretty successful reality show. Yeah. It was called The Mint. It's I, on Now That's TV. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I do have a working relationship with Now That's TV, but they understand but that this, that this is work. So, this is work. You know, um, you, the season ended, I believe it was like last year, mid last year sometime, right? Yeah, it ended probably like. October. Okay. Uh -huh. And one of the winners was supposed to receive $10,000 mm -hmm. and then a chain. A chain. And a it custom was chain. A custom chain. custom chain. Yeah. Okay. And um, since then, that reunion hasn't happened. Hasn't happened. Hasn't been planned. I've been getting a run around. So, okay, let's start from the beginning. Before we get to the end, because I know there's a lot of girls. The reason why you went off is because the girls that were a part of the show are essentially upset with you. Um, some of them, not okay. all of them. So have you had a chance to talk to them in private or um, about kind of what happened? The girls? Yes, your um, cast. Actually, some of them, yes. Some of them I, I'm in talks with every day. They're very supportive. They don't understand. They're hurt, you know, because at the end of the day, um, it was presented to them an idea that they're coming to do a show for me, this, this transitioning, transitioning them out of the club, and they have a chance to win – $10,000 in the chain, and not one of them have gotten the prize. So it's almost like they feel hoodwinked and bamboozled at, to a, a certain extent. Only the ones who, even some of the ones who have done the other shows for them, mm -hmm. um, they've even hit me up. Or oh. hit, it, it hit some of my people up and like, I want to talk to Dime because I don't think this right. You know, I 
I only did the other shows because I thought we were still doing a reunion, you know? So I'm not mad at them because the whole point, Tasha, of the Mint was for them to do other things, for them to step out of, you know, get a stepping stone out of the club, and that's good. It's good that they're doing other shows and he's giving them other opportunities, but before you let them finish out what I had going on with them, before they get a reunion, and then, and then my thing was you said my girls were so boring and you didn't want to bring all of them for a reunion, but you've used – almost all of them except for maybe two or three on other shows mm. so it doesn't make sense to me how they could be so boring and be on other shows what was the initial like when you first met up with now that's tv like mm -hmm. what was the initial conversations about the show like um how well, we go and yeah well um the mint is my idea okay it's my show i trademarked the show the mint the Mint TV show is mine. Okay. So my whole goal of the show was because I came from the strip club. I wanted to bring girls out of. So when I went to Natus TV with the idea, mm -hmm. I was just telling him when I met with him, I was just like, I haven't been on TV in a while, but I have a call into where something is telling me to come back, but come back like this mm. with, with more girls, helping girls and Still getting out there where people can see me again because a lot of people tell me, I miss you. I want to see you on TV again. And I know it's not going to be goody, goody two shoes all the time. That's not how y'all met me. So that's not how I'm, I'm, I'm always going to be a real bitch because at the end of the day, that's what made y'all fall in love with me. So I'm still on, on giving them my natural self, but I'm just a level up. I'm just a level where I want to help, you know, like where mm -hmm. I want to. It could be fun. It could be drama. Yeah. I know it's not going to be kumbaya the whole right. time with 13 girls in the house. But the whole goal was to get them start transitioning out of the club. So that was the initial talk with them was to do a show where, you know, the girls transition at the club. I told them, I said, I know it's, I know your network. I didn't do my little research. Mm -hmm. I said, I know it's not going to be goody goody, but I don't want them fighting to the death either. It's got to be a medium. We got to come to right, with right. the girls fighting and stuff like that. <laughs> so, um, they were excited about it. It was like, Soon as I told him, he loved the idea and he was ready to shoot it that next week. Like it was oh, like wow. I didn't even have a chance to prepare. You know, you you want to get yourself together. I didn't even have a chance to prepare for it. So it he was put so everybody fast. in the house. Mm -hmm. He did auditions first. Okay. And then um, I picked the girls. I picked girls from the auditions, and then it was a few of them they presented to me that didn't come to the auditions. Um, one of them was Ferrari, the girl who has her own show now. Okay. So I knew when he presented to her to me that he probably wanted to probably do other stuff with her. And I didn't pick any other girls from now this TV shows. I, I wanted all new fresh faces. But she was the only one that I picked that had already been on a now this TV show. Okay. So it was like, okay, cool. You like you want me to pick her? I'll pick her. You know, being a team player, mm -hmm. sort of to speak. And um, I picked Rose. She was a girl that I already knew from my from being down here dancing and stuff. And we had mm. developed a, a friendship, but we weren't. She wasn't a girl I talked to every day. I hadn't talked to her in probably like two or three years. And I went on live with Deja, one of their hosts, mm -hmm. and she joined the live. And just I hadn't even seen her or talked to her in a long time. And she joined the live. She was like, what's going on with this show? And I was like, yeah, I'm doing a show. You want to be a part of it? Because I know she was dancing. Yeah. And she hadn't really been, I hadn't heard anything about her in a long time. But I knew she boxed and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I give you an automatically pink dollar to go ahead and get it. You don't even got to do auditions. You don't got to do nothing. You just got to get down here and get in the house. Because I knew she probably needed an opportunity. Yeah. You know, I knew nobody, like, I know she friends with different girls in the industry and stuff, but I hadn't seen none of them, like, give her no opportunities. So I was like, let me, I said, Rose, come on, you can come on. Okay. Do it. I know you, because she wasn't really what I was looking for as far as, like, age and, you know, like, the, you know, but I was like, it don't matter. Just come on. Okay. So, and she one of the main ones that's, like, then did some shady stuff, turned on me. It, 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 it's, it's so much. It goes so far back because, like, she accused me of trying to contact two other now that's TV girls that fight a lot. And try to get them to, I, she, they said, I contacted them to come to the reunion to fight her. I don't even have nothing against her to fight, to get nobody to fight her. I, why, why would I do that? It was Tina Key that was contacting other people that could, that was known to fight from the network. And she wanted them to come to the reunion with her because she didn't want to get jumped again. So that was, and I, I instantly hit Tina Key up and I was like, Tina Key, you are wasting your time trying to pay people that were not on my cast to come to my reunion to fight for you. I'm not letting them in the reunion. So you gotta you gotta come by yourself. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? You can't pay other people from other shows to come to my reunion. But Rose, some type of way it got to her that I was the one called for other people. And I, and I told her, I said, what are you talking about? That's not true. I would not do that. Like, But then even when she found out it was true, it never was a humble spirit to come back to me and say, Dime, I apologize. I know you didn't say that. I even hit the girl up that they said, told them then. She said, I ain't said no shit like that. I ain't, You didn't tell me that. Tina Key hit us up. Yeah, I never talked to you. I do know, like, um, now that TV does, because when I was filming a reunion with them, they mm-hmm. had they had what they call, like, wild cards, right? Uh-huh. I guess maybe if some of the cast members were entertaining and not mm-hmm. as entertaining, mm-hmm. they would bring some cast members from, like, because I did Deja Vu season two, so they brought some cast, uh, uh, cast members, I said cast members, <laughs> uh, cast members from uh, Deja Vu season one to, I guess, fight or kind of level up the season and it was Armageddon in that motherfucking room like so um and I do know you guys were supposed to film at the same time when Deja Vu was filming so I don't know if y'all were supposed to come after they were done or well well, my impression was and I want to say this too when they came to me initially about coming down here for the reunion, it was like a last minute thing. They was like, call me like the day before, and they was like, we want you to come to Miami and do the reunion with Tasha Kay and Deja Vu. And it wasn't that I didn't want to do it with you. Mm-hmm. The whole point was, I don't want to do it with another show that I know nothing about. Why would I do a joint reunion with that? They wanted both of us on the stage at, at the same time. I don't think it was enough room, though. Right. I didn't even, <laughs> like, I didn't even hear was, They was, was like, already... it's going to be big. Nobody's ever done this. Our two number one shows together. Mm. It's going to be huge. I was just like, I don't I don't think so. And the chain wasn't ready. The chain hadn't even been ordered yet. So Because one were, of the girls was supposed to win like a yeah, diamond chain. Yeah, a diamond chain and $10,000. So why would I come to the reunion with the no chain? I mean, they probably had the money, but no chain. And I've been saying this all season. And they've been telling me to say this all season. Swag mm. been in my ear like, tell them it's a chain and, and 10000 on it. On, it stay here. And they competing for this, thinking that that's what they're going to get. That's, mm. that's sinister to me. Did the girls get paid throughout the season, though? They got a fee to come and film the show, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, that, at I least that's like covered. I think it was like $1,000, $1,500. So the only like person... That. So only one person was supposed to win the chain and the ten thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, have you have you spoken to the winner? Uh, I haven't even announced the winner. I haven't got a chance to announce the winner. Nothing. No. You want to announce the winner? I do want to announce the winner, but I want to give them the winner their money and their chain. And so now that TV was supposed to fund that chain. They funded the chain. They ended up finally getting the chain three months later after the show stopped. Okay. I got the chain. I I actually went live at the office when I got the chain. And they were saying that they wanted me to do a a whole new season with whole new girls and maybe bring the winner in at a a new auditions or something. But they just stopped talking to me. They just stopped communicating. Even recently, like this month when, I mean, February – when I um, hit them up about my pay, mm-hmm. um, I was like, y'all, we still ain't did nothing about the winner or nothing yet. Let me know because I'm still getting drugged through the mud. Just straight up ignore me. Okay, well, we sent your um, numbers and your money. But they didn't say anything about a reunion again or or announcing a winner. Because I don't know if they just don't want to give me a reunion. I, I don't know what the real reason is why I didn't get an actual reunion with all my girls. But he said it was because they were boring. But then he used most of them. But again. was it, but was it a number one show? I mean, I thought that show and Deja Vu was the two top shows. That's what that's what they told me when I when they called me and asked me to do the reunion. It was like our two top shows. We're gonna do a reunion together with Tasha K. And at first, I was like, I was like, uh, uh-uh, uh, that don't make sense because I need my girl. I want to talk. I got stuff I got to say to them. Like I got stuff I need to get out and talk. They wouldn't have been fighting. They wouldn't have been talking that day. They would have been straight. See, fighting. it wouldn't have been nothing but fighting. <laughs> and I went with fighting. it. Like I was just, I really yeah. wanted to have a real conversation with some of them. Mm-hmm. So I didn't, I didn't see the point in doing it. And then I thought about it. I was like, okay, if they got the chain and the money, I just go and get it out the way. So I called back and I was like, y'all got the chain because I, I had been texting mm. them. Mind you, I had been texting them when we were still on air. Like, because it takes a month for a chain to get done. 
So I text them. I was like, we we probably like a few ep- we like a couple episodes before we finna be done. When are we ordering the chain? What does it look like? Can y'all send it to me? Cause I want to get one made too. You know, with my right, own money. Right. You know, to match the winner, like on some stunt shit. Cause this is my first season. I'm proud. Like I've really done something I thought I probably would never be able to do. So I was just like, they never answered. I mean, the whole month of October went by. And he never texted me back, never called me back, kept giving me the run around saying he was going to call me. He was going to get on the call with me, never got on the call with me. And then I was just like, time just kept going past. And I started getting like comments and messages and it, I couldn't even post on my page without them saying I scammed or ran off with $10,000 in the train. They kept saying, she's a scammer. Her whole show was a scam. She ain't picked no winner yet. They saying, you ran off with 10K in a chain. And my reputation built on, I built myself up. Like, I came from zero to nothing. I was from nothing to what I am now. And I have never had no problem with my name being associated with stealing nothing or being a thief or a scammer. That's not my M.O. And if it was, I'd be proud, a proud scammer. But I'm not. And I'm not going to take that on. So everybody in Atlanta ain't scamming. Everybody in Atlanta ain't scamming. And I ain't. <laughs> it might be, it's a lot of them. But I'm not one. And you're not finna make me be one. <laughs> I'm not so, going down for the hit. So, okay. So we're here now. And I'm glad you came to clear things up. Because I, I know you was, you had uploaded and you was going in. <laughs> I'm going to take it I was down. like, come down. Do a professional interview. Yes. <laughs> you're an entrepreneur. <laughs> I had even forgot to reach out to Now That's TV to see if we could still get it done. Because in reality, I mean, that's essentially what you want. A, you want the show, want. you want the reunion done. I want it done. And I'm sure but the viewers it, want it done. Oh, they are going crazy. They are all, they are like, we want a reunion. We don't understand. Even after now, it still needs to be one. Because, okay. I mean, they... All the the girls that I went in on feel yeah. some type of way. They doing they talking on the internet, and I'm doing my talking on the internet. But are y'all gonna show up to the reunion? Is the question. Oh, well, that's another part. Mm. What are they doing now? So are they they working on other? You said they're working on a other couple shows? of them are on other shows, but the shows have been filmed and probably about to come out. I know Rose got her eye blacked on one of the shows. It's oh. shut closed. Um, Shade shots fine. Yeah, it's just bad. <laughs> it's like I would have never let that happen. Like that's just like, come on, girl. You know. So, I mean, it's like, like I said on live, it's just kind of like, you know how you had a slave plantation. You got the house niggas and the field niggas. I'm like, yeah. the, I'm a field nigga. I'm like a man, a, a big, powerful field nigga, and they in the house. Could you just have like, moved the show to another site? Yeah, I can do anything I want to. Well, not well, not with. I can start over and just do a new reunion by myself because I got this. I own the mint. Okay. But that first season they filmed, so this they filmed it. Okay. So they got the footage to that. But it's what I'm saying is, could you move it? Because you know how most shows will move from different networks. Yeah, I could move my next season to a different network with no problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No well, problem. let's hope that doesn't happen. I mean, I feel like um, I feel like it's so. I feel like Tilo is just really. I really went in on them. Like I really, really went. In. I went in on them like Memphis style. Like I checked mm-hmm. their drawers off. It so it's just like I don't know if they can get over that. I mean, I get into it with my husband and we get over it. I get into it with my friends I'm, I'm and sure we get T-Lo over it. I'm sure is used to getting cussed out, all the women he's around. I've actually seen, like, when I was on set, <laughs> the girls in the train is, like, cussing them out. Said, <laughs> you the boss. What the fuck <laughs> going on right here? I mean, he like, take a lot. He take a lot. So I'm just like, you know what you did. You know how I feel. I've been quiet long, a long time. And... What else did you expect me to do? Mm. Now, is it true that he got one of maybe your cast members pregnant? Is that what I'm hearing? Allegedly. That he's in love with one of your cast members? Well, allegedly. Okay. Well, he says he in love. He's supposed to be in love with one of my other friends, but not the cast member. Damn. <laughs> one of my old love and hip hop buddies is supposed to be. His, he's in love with her. Which now. one? You ain't know. She been sporting the train. Oh, around. um, um, I think she blasted him though. Who? 
Diamond? No, not Diamond. Not Diamond. Because Diamond was trying to say he was pushing up on her and trying to entice her with like yeah, show I saw ideas that. and stuff. I and saw I was that. Like, and she said after she didn't do anything with him, they the, her show went away. I was like, God, he is cutthroat. <laughs> We but, say it allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Okay. Allegedly. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't there. Do we need to do a show for the love of T-Lo? Like, yes. <laughs> look, T-Lo needs his own show. That's I'm what telling I need you. to be hosting. They need to let me be ho- Me and you be the host. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Light them up, God damn it. Light, Light them up. up. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Which one, though? She been all... You come on now. They posted it and everything. Is it Carly? Yes. He is not fucking Carly Red. Yes, they are a couple. They are a couple, Tasha. You knew. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's fake news. <laughs> it's real. I talked to Carly. She really likes him. She, I'm sure she really like him, but <laughs> does he really like her is the question. She said he does. He don't like that old lady. No, there ain't no motherfucking way he fucking with Carly. T- I'm telling you the truth. He asked me to keep his love life too. Like when I had did an interview with him, he was like, please can we not discuss my discuss my love life if I tell you told him talking about if I tell Tasha that she gonna discuss it anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the fuck? Like <laughs> No motherfucking way he's sleeping with that old lady. That lady they got all together. And no, they're together. They're together. Yeah. I spent my birthday with them because, and then they, it was so messy. They that's, have, they invited me out for my that's, birthday. That's, that's different. It's, it's different. Carly hit me up. She like, it's your birthday. Hi. I ain't talked to Carly and God knows when. Yeah. And she hit me up. She's like, it's your birthday. I want to take you out. And I'm like, okay. She was like, I asked T to go, but. He said they ain't fucking with you because you cuss swag out. I guess about the deja mm-hmm, the reunion. Yeah. And I'm like, I just talked to Swag and he just called me and said they want to go out for my birthday, but I don't I'm not gonna get in the middle mm. of that. So I kinda like blew them up and then I kinda was it was like I was in the middle. I don't want to be in the middle of nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's so crazy. And so y'all messy. all went out. We all went out. And we had a, we went out to Blue Flame. We didn't stay long because Carly ended up getting a little too tipsy. So we ended up just, you know, mm-hmm. leaving on out or whatever. But after so that. So they was like kissing and stuff? They together together? They was, they was, they were like, I didn't see them kissing, but <laughs> they was together having a good time with the dancers. So, and I was like, you she know. She know she mad at me. Why? Because I was the one that helped, you know, put put out to the public that Arkansas Mo was scamming motherfuckers for millions of dollars. Oh, mm-hmm. she got to play like she didn't know about it. Oh yeah, I I was filming. I was on Love and Hip Hop then, mm-hmm. and she she tried to act like she didn't know about. It. I was like Carl- Carly. That's what I said. Carly is so sweet though, but she just Carly is so sweet. And I asked her to just, come do an interview. She was like, "You don't like me." I was like, "I don't even know you." That sound like her. That sound like I was like, I don't even know you, but, but you, you should to be, put out what you should be thanking me. Like he mm-hmm. took millions of dollars and he had been doing this. Actually, tried to uh, uh, kill his dad at one point. Oh and, no! And get the life insurance policy. Yeah, he in jail now. He he doing some years now, like twenty years. Wow! This wasn't his first time. Like I'm telling my, he had a trucking company, Arkansas Mo, and um, he was basically telling just regular black couples, uh-huh. hey guys, you want to invest? I got these. Contracts with Walmart, two million, three million dollar, twenty million dollar contracts. I, if you give me this amount of money, once I sell the contract, I'll give you this back. Man, he ran off with the people money. Was wow. buying Car- uh, Carly and I believe Summer Bunny, if I'm not mistaken, because I just had an interview with Summer. And I forgot I to ask her about that shit. <laughs> I sure did. I forgot. Now my mind is going. I forgot to ask about that shit. But he bought Summer Bunny titties. Damn. Yeah. Uh huh. Summer Bunny be out here. And don't Carly and Summer Bunny. Was arguing over Arkansas Mo. I remember that. Yes. Did Summer Bunny even come? I think she came on the show. Yes, she did. Yeah. yeah. I forgot. God damn it. Yep. She did. I remember that. I remember, I remember that. everything. But she had got so fucked up when she was here anyway. I had to cut <laughs> the interview. She was spilling it. Oh, man. I had to, I had to pull the ball from her. I said, she ain't finna talk about it. I done got her. Uh-uh. 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 No, 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 no. But yeah, that, that neither here nor there. But... As far as you and T, I mean, do you really, you think you guys could, like, 
you know, sit down if I was to mediate that and y'all sit down. I'm, I don't even think I need mediation. I think, you know, if it were to be done right, mm -hmm. I would love to host it. Mm -hmm. I would make sure it turns up, of course. <laughs> I will let you do your listen, little talking. Listen, I have <laughs> no ill will. I'm going to send you the text messages that I was sending him. I okay. was not cursing him out. I was being understanding. Every text message and I was saying... I still thank you for the opportunity. I'm glad we had a good season. I just want to get this wrapped up mm -hmm. so I can go ahead and move on to other stuff. If we ain't doing a season two or whatever we're doing, let's right. just keep it going, you know? So I'm, I, I was so grateful for the opportunity. And, and, and like my husband told him, it, he talked to him. Mm -hmm. And he told my husband he was going to call him. Call? Yes, he talked to him. And he said, T said he going to call you this evening. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, cool. I'm cool with it. Then... I get online, he goes live, and they're in the comments going in, asking him about the mint. He's like, oh, no, y'all just y'all got to ask Jessica Dime. I don't know what's going on with the mint. Ask her. And then I'm like, you just told my husband you was going to call me, and you ain't called me. I was like, ask me. I'm typing, ask me what? Because you just said you was going to call me, and you never called. Then they go live, the whole little crew at a round table, and go pull up my trash can interview talking about when I said um once I put once you put stuff on the internet we can't be friends no more yeah we can't be friends no that's a bit that's like I'm talking about a girl who I'm, not somebody I'm yeah. doing business with right and I tried so long just to just talk to y'all about it like text you just like ask y'all I even went out with y'all for my birthday my birthday was just in January because I just wanted to check the temperature I wanted to see what really was going on yeah. with it and they ain't say nothing about it when we went out and then a couple of days later, they were supposed to, my birthday on the 27th, I was supposed to get paid on the 1st. So when it was time for me to get paid, I I wanted to go up there and see, you know, like, mm -hmm. I was supposed to go and look at my numbers. But this particular time, they didn't let me come look at them. The first time, they didn't let me come look at them, and they just sent me the numbers and sent me what they feel like I should get, I guess. And I just was like, when I started doing this, I go up to the office every month and look at my numbers, write them down. And they give me, and we calculate it together, and I get my, and he wires me my money for my watch hours. So why this money is so different? I know he had said he wanted me to come and do host um, Scrappy and Chaotic's show. Mm -hmm. um, they had like an auditions because they got a show coming out together. But I'm, I was going to go do it. That's the crazy thing. I told the girl Queen, who was from my show, I was like, I, I'm going I'm to do it. I want to do it. And then I thought about it. You know how you say you just thought... I just sat down and I thought, I was like, that wouldn't be fair to my girls. Why would I go and do his day show? And he ain't even squashed my show yet. I said, I'm not going to go do that. So I said, I just didn't show up. I didn't go and do it. So I was just like, because if you haven't even filmed my reunion, why would I go in, onto another show? You don't even need me for a Scrappy and Chaotic show. They should be able to carry that show themselves. Now, if Scrappy or Chaotic had called mm -hmm. me and said, Nah, we need you to pull up, of course I'm going to pull up. But... Because that's my, you know, my peers and my coworkers mm -hmm. asking me to do some a favor, and I know they'll do the same for me. So I just, if it would have been different if they asked me. But it was the mm -hmm. network that I didn't even finish their other obligation with me asking me to do something. I just went with it. So what do you want the girls to know? Well, I just want them to know I'm fighting for my fucking life, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> love your hair it's Thank so cute <laughs> no yeah. i just want them to know it's all about them like if, if i like if i was selfish i would have went on and went mm -hmm. and came and did the reunion with you mm -hmm. that shit went up i still be getting big checks off of that every month yeah <laughs> that shit went up yeah. just for me to sit on the stage yeah. and let them fight yeah i could have done that but yeah. i was standing up for them i was saying y'all they ain't gave us no reunion. They don't want to bring all y'all. They don't want to give me the chain. They don't want to give me everything. I'm not going to do it. I'm really standing up for y'all. I could have went on and went on along with it mm -hmm. or whatever it is. I'm trying to make sure it's done right and it's seen through the right way. So we can go ahead and move on to whatever we're going to do. If you want to do a season two with me, I'm down. If you don't, it's cool. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But let's see these girls through to the end. That's all I was saying. That's, that's what I want them to know. I was fighting for y'all. I was good. I'm still going to be good any way it go. Any way you rinse it off and wash it, mm -hmm. dime going to be okay. Because the men is mine at the end of the day. I can go film it on YouTube if I want to. Mm -hmm. So it's that, that wasn't the point. I was trying to look out for everybody. Yeah. I was going to get Rosé, Rotten Teeth fixed, 
and call Dr. Mario and ask him to fix her teeth. Because me and him real cool. I was going to do that. I was trying to help Tennessee get a house. I got my personal assistant. He would tell you I was thinking of everything that they spoke on that they was very um, insecure about. And I was trying to do something toward helping them. Like mm-hmm. Black said she ain't had nowhere to stay. I was trying to find somewhere for her to stay. And I was going to get her the keys at the reunion. Like I had stuff planned for them. Oh, really? You know what I'm yes. Honest to God. Honest to God. Yes. Every last one of them. Any of them that said, like Judy said she wanted to be an actress, I wanted to set her up with an acting coach. And I was going to give her her certificate where she go get some acting lessons. Like, I was doing it. That's what I wanted to do. And I and it, it just makes me so upset because they, they didn't have my back. I got y'all back, but y'all don't got my back. Y'all think y'all competing with me. You can't compete with me. It's my show. You cannot compete with me. I'm helping you. You can't compete with every woman. Every woman is not your competition. We can work together. That is very We're supposed true. to work together. We black women. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And and it just hurt. It hurt my soul that they, that they you know, some of them now, some of them still got my back to this day. They mm-hmm. calling now, like, what's up? You know, black called the other day. She said, I want to pull up to the boxing because I'm mad. <laughs> I'm like, black, you, we going to go to jail. <laughs> black will send us straight to the slam. <laughs> That's okay. We'll That's all right. We'll get, we'll get out. out. We, we got bond money for we'll sure. For <laughs> but sure. the point will be made. Right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, and you know, I don't want to be messy and I don't want to talk down. Like I said, it's professional. I want to come and talk. I, I, I shouldn't have said a lot of things I said mm-hmm. about them. Um, Queen, I take back nothing I said about her. She's a snake. Like that girl is a snake. So I put her on this show. I have cried to Queen. I have called Queen crying. Like what Queen, she was crying about? Queen, how can you still be going to this place every day? You know these people ain't gave me no reunion. You know these people ain't let me announce the winner. You know my name is getting dropped. I just got to show you the messages of these people dragging me. They drag me on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere, Twitter, everywhere. You talking about the viewers or the... The viewers. Oh, okay. Saying that I ran off with the chain and the money. No, so you I ran off on the plug. I ran off on the plug twice. <laughs> and I'm just like, Queen, you ain't going to say nothing. She was like, I do say something. I do say something. I'm just like, you couldn't be saying nothing. You couldn't. And then she the main one on the live when they went live. She just got sent out to go on the live and talk about me, girl. Are you serious? I'm the one who put you on the network. Then I got another home girl. She worked there now. I brought her on the jet. She from Memphis. I've been on her years. She, I brought her on the jet when they asked me to, you know, we they took mm-hmm. us on a trip on the jet. Mm-hmm. And they asked me if I want to bring some of my friends. I invited her. Now, she works for the network. Even when I couldn't get in touch with him and I was constantly texting him, I texted her. I was like, look, I cannot get in touch with him. He won't answer the phone for me. He won't text me back. Can you please just ask him what he want to do about my reunion? She didn't even let me, she didn't hit me back and tell me nothing. We celebrate our birthdays together. Her birthday a day after mine. We celebrate our birthdays together you see and everything. Why I ain't got no fucking friends. And, and you and I don't barely have none. That's why all my friends is men. <laughs> and that's like that's fucked up that you gotta be like that. Yeah, yeah. You know? So it's just mm. Can't let him in your house or your job. No, you can't. And that's the messed up part about it. Yeah. It's so much stuff that's just so much stuff just coming out about them. Just so much stuff. And I don't want to be like that. I'm I'm down with who I'm down with. You know? You know this is going to, you know, make your checks a, a lot bigger now. Because people are going to go watch the men. <laughs> oh, now that's TV. They're going to want to see what the fuck you talk about. <laughs> um, <laughs> stuff I want to talk about. <laughs> Listen. Listen. They're going to want to know, like, hey, look, what is she talking about? Let me go see this show. Yeah. And, and then you, this is another thing. I roll with them. Like, you know, they got this little thing with Zeus. Yeah. And I'm not in the middle of that because I done been over Lemon House before. Mm. Like, I'm cool with I, I don't have no problem with them. Mm. But when I was, I know they got some type of whatever going on, I let them say do certain things with my show. Like, when my show came out, it was like nothing like that other show, like a shot at Jocelyn because everybody kept saying my show was like hers, which I knew it wasn't. But I let them run with that. I, I was, and I feel like, just to get smacked in the face and you not have my back and finish my show out and show, we supposed to show, you supposed to show that on me. I, I rode with you. That's like me riding with you. I didn't have to, I didn't have to let you do that. Cause I really ain't in what you and Zeus got going on at all. But since I came over here to the network, I'm a ride with who I ride with. 
you know? So I just feel like it was a lot of that, a lot of that. Even with me getting paid every month, it be late. I don't say nothing. It be late. I got to go up to the office, get the money, whatever. It don't matter. I, I'm cool with it. You know, I just go with the flow. The sound on my show was a mess. People calling me, damn, I love the show, but I can't stand the sound. I want to turn it off. They a new network. Yeah, I know. And that's what I was telling people. They a new network. Yeah. Listen, well, I'm working with them. Yeah, you we know? still got sound issues right, right now. Right. So that's why I was like, yeah. I'm working with them. I wanted to grow with them. I wanted to, like, I thought we had something. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Even in, my husband even said, in the, it was going so good. In the beginning, I was, everything was fine. So I don't know what actually went left. I don't know what I don't know if he gonna honestly say what it was, cause something happened. I don't care what they say. Something happened. Something happened. Something happened. I don't roll with them, even with the jumping ten of key in the house. The producers did that. I didn't have nothing to do with it. I didn't even know what was going yeah, on. Yeah, they did jump her. They sure did. And they and, and they and told they those girls, you. they blamed me. Yeah. And then they told the girls they was gonna go home if they didn't do their big one. That's on my face. That girl is from Memphis. Well, she's supposed to be from Memphis. They say she, the girl ain't even from Memphis. Mm. She's from the outskirts. But whatever. She came on my face to come to my, do my show. And y'all jump her. And y'all tell the other girls to go in there and do it. Like, I could have been done with y'all then. Like, it was already, that was dirty on my face to do that. It, that was pitiful. Yeah. All to tell Ferrari, so Ferrari, to try to be a Ferrari up for a show. And and it was on my face, and I I took that. Now she online saying I got her jump. I'm like, what are they? What are y'all telling this girl? Cause I didn't know nothing about her getting no jump. I came out and acted a fucking fool, and I told her to get her lick back, and she didn't do it. I'm definitely gonna put, it, like I said in our our next uh, segment, uh, this you know the part of the interview, all this other stuff. We're gonna go to HKLive.com, but <laughs> for you know for you straightening out you know, kind of what happened with the mint and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, I really hope that we can kind of get to some middle ground. I do know my team, I don't ever talk to T-Lo myself unless we're doing business. Right. But my team, they're in contact with him all the time. And let me see if we can knock it out. You know what I'm saying? And get it done and, and be get the mint season it. two. I wouldn't mind. I'm not mad at them. I wanted to actually film the mint season two in Miami. See, okay. That would be wanted nice. To, Trick Daddy wanted to be a part of it. Okay. They actually got a mint down here in Miami that okay. we could have filmed it and did some stuff. So nice. I had a lot of big ideas and okay. season two was going to be way bigger than season one. Okay. I really wanted and to I get into that. some things. I you believe know? that. And so, I like where you were going with the girls, like helping them. Okay. Even if you nothing comes to this show, here's the keys to your house. Here's this, here's that. You that's know what, what was on my heart. That's what I was planning to do. Yeah. Like the, it was going to be good. And I know it's going to be drama at the reunion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause I was going to come in with the shit first now. Let's be clear. I, I was walking in straight with the were. shit. And then I was going to change clothes and be the philanthropist. Yes. But I had some shit to say <laughs> and talk and do. And if anybody had something to say, we can squabble it out. Yes. But, you know, and then as a host, I don't want to be fighting my girls and fighting and this and that. But don't play with me. Like, I won't mm. hit you in your shit. Mm. Mm. Don't disrespect me. Don't do all. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because I, I, I genuinely come from a good place with all... I think it was 13 of them. Mm -hmm. All 13 of them. I told them nothing but the truth. Like, I, I kept it real with them. They I told did. them nothing but the truth. I want to see them win. I want to see them do well. Not in competition with y'all. How can I touch y'all? I put y'all here. Mm. Well, listen, let's let's hope this is a continued conversation and we can get it done. And like I said, you can get on the Mint, too. What else you got coming up? Um, Well, I'm working on my Mint album. Oh. So that's about to drop. So you, okay. I got the Mint album. Right. I'm talking, I mean, this is my best project. I really have taken my time with it. I got some of the, like I said, mm -hmm. some of the girls, we talk all the time. Right. They came to the studio, dropped their songs. Oh. So I got some of them on the album. Oh, shit. Yeah, they hard. They hard. They are hard. Okay. I let That's them come up with that. That's why you took when I was like, they say a female rap is over. You was like, huh? Not over here. Because I, I don't have nothing yeah. else. I don't have I don't have nothing else but with this. Mm. You know, I, I, I want to build from this. Um, I started rapping because that's what was put on me to do. Like, I didn't ever yeah. think that's what I was going to do. And I can write and I can rap. And I can do it myself. I don't need nobody to write, write nothing for me. But if I do, that's fine. But mm -hmm. I don't need that. That's why I first started doing it. Mm. You know, and I don't want to stop. I want to continue. I want to 
I want to get to a certain place and go on, like, and bow out yeah. gracefully. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But I got two kids and a stepchild that's looking at me that I want them to see why I leave and go away from them every day or other day or when okay. I need to go and do something. I need to show this. Like, I'm not giving up. I'm not stopping. Just because don't labor ain't sign me, that don't mean I got to stop. I got the money. God don't never give you the, you know, he'll give you the dream, but he don't always give you exactly what you think you need for mm. you got to kind of scrape fine and i've that i've done it my whole career like i told my husband i said you start playing basketball once you got to a certain time in your life you knew you was going to the nba mm. it wasn't nothing yeah. else you had to really do exactly you know what i'm saying i didn't never know i was gonna get on tv or know i was gonna rap or know flow rider was gonna sign me and then drop me and i gotta get on love and hip-hop and they was gonna drop me and you know i have to still climb my way back up you yeah. know what I'm saying? So my life has not been structured and planned. Everything has been happened to me by God's grace. And not saying that his blessings didn't happen by God's grace, but this is my path. You ain't thought about joining, rejoining Love and Hip Hop now? Well, I ain't talked to, I mean, I talked to Stephanie, one of the producers sometimes, but they ain't, hit, they hit me up about a Memphis show, but they didn't end up green lighting the Memphis show. Oh, but, um, that would have been messy. That would have been crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. They would have <laughs> They it couldn't do it without shooting, me. <laughs> shootings on set. Yes. I might have been able to help that out. <laughs> we had to get into a medium ground with that. Because your husband, he would film this time, wasn't he? Yeah, he filmed last time. I didn't he realize. proposed to me he and everything. He did. He did. It was so mm -hmm. long ago. You mm -hmm. are very right. But he would definitely film. He would whatever I'm with. He's very supportive. That's my best friend. Oh. Like, he he called T-Lo for me, talked to him for me, and that even hurt me for you to tell my husband you gonna call me and don't yeah. do it. And you, t he told me he said Tilo gave me his word. He gave me his word. He gonna call you. You didn't call me. You lied to my husband. I don't play about my husband. <laughs> I don't play about Sean Williams. <laughs> I, I'm in, almost in tears right now thinking yeah. about it. Like don't play with my husband because yeah. he a good nigga. Like he he don't wanna. He liked it. He liked mm -hmm. to see us doing what we doing. He he thought it was going well. Yeah. So don't lie to him. You know? Yeah. So, don't get me started. Okay. Don't get me well, started. Listen, I got to get off camera now. That's why I say you come do it professionally. I'm glad I got a chance Yes, to. and you know, not all the cussing and stuff, because it makes it more <laughs> messy, you know. Look, my daddy said, when you go do your interview, just come. Just go be calm. calm be calm. <laughs> People can get it then. <laughs> now they understand why you're cussing. Yeah, you know it was, it's, it's a lot. It was yeah. a little hurtful. And well, don't you know? Put it on private so we can take little clips and put it in here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To add some context to it so they don't know why. Why? You know? What's going on? And yeah. I'll send you the messages and everything. Okay, so you have we got everything. you. We got you. Yeah, why but knows? I want this resolved. Why <laughs> knows? Let's do it. Like seriously, let's resolve this. Why knows? Jessica Dime. Listen. Thank you. For so what me. is the album dropping? It's gonna drop next month. Month, I'm thinking. Okay. So I'm 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 finishing uh, uh, up the intro and stuff this week in okay. Atlanta. I'm sending it off to uh, get mixed and mastered, and, and I'm looking for a March date. Okay. I'm looking at a March date, and if it's not March, I think it might be April. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. But it's gonna be soon. It's done. You shooting videos and stuff? Yes. Okay. We shooting All videos. Right. I'm actually going to Memphis next week and shoot some videos. She said. She said female rap is not dead. Not at the mint. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, thank not you. according to me thank you so much for coming out thank you for Part having me two. you didn't have to bring me I was like oh, I gotta sneak in here <laughs> I was like who'd you tell you was coming <laughs> don't tell, tell nobody. nobody listen 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 thank you thank you it's always a pleasure you look beautiful you too I'm glad that you're calm down you. thank you so much I'm glad that you calmed down you know what I'm saying you're able to kind of put it out there hopefully the girls and the viewers will not understand mm -hmm. you know what's been going on and then we can get this resolved yeah we okay? can get past it and move on and yeah. keep winning. Tilo, we need that reunion. Let's go. It ain't going to take you but a couple hours like, to come film Come on, it. man. Let's get past this shit. I'm sorry for what I said. Damn, you pissed me off, dog. She said she's sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. She's sorry. Damn. We have to take it this far. All right. Look at that camera and say, now you got to go. Bye. Bye. Now I got to go, wine. I was love you. And we ain't drinking wine because I'm not pregnant. I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> and I ain't either. I'm yeah, on fast. She's fasting. So stop. They always want somebody pregnant. Yeah, they like, damn, I'm pregnant because like, I was why drunk last time. I just have a big stomach. <laughs> and I just ate boiling crab, yeah, so I'm full. Girl, you good. You good. Thank you. So Thank much. you, Tasha. Okay. I enjoyed you. Anytime.